dear viewers in previous lecture we have uh, completed almost everything which need to define now in this lecture we are just going to uh, show you that how we'll create our grid line how we'll define our uh, grid system and we'll start modeling so in our software here in our software i'll just go here define and from define load combination this is the most important thing you can uh, add load combination manually from here but as we have selected a uh, i mean as we have selected a uh, code okay so as per code we'll take default design combo so i'll click here add default design combo and from here i'll select concrete frame design okay concrete frame design that's it then uh click here edit to user combination editable okay so i'll click here okay and see here we have taken the combo we need so if we take mouse okay um if you consider or if we take mouse here or here then you will see our combination also just see here 1.4 into dead load then 1.2 into dead load plus 1.6 uh, into uh, live load just see here 1.6 into live load and 1.2 into dead load and here uh one just here dead load and actually uh if you focus here you will see all kinds of combination have been created automatically okay done so when it's done when it's done now we'll go for our next step so what is our next step i'll click here okay otherwise if you need to uh define load combination separately then that's related video are also available in our channel okay then i'll click okay now we'll define our grid system so it's click here right click then uh, modify grid system and from here uh, grid one and i'll go modify or show grid system from here we'll consider display grid data as a spacing uh, here from here a uh, grid uh, display grid data as a spacing then i'll click here so uh, for x direction what is the value actually I, i'll change change that unit from here i'll go dimension i'll take that value as a engineer engineering value so from dimension i'll just go here modify and from primary unit architectural to engineering and i'll consider that value done then okay set current close just see this value has been changed now uh we'll take only grid to grid data from here 12 point uh, 12 feet and 7.67 inch i'll consider them I, I i mean i'll move it i'll move it here i'll move it here and i'll click here okay okay and i'll take that software here so that we can uh, modify that very easily now right click here add or modify grid system from here modify grid system so simply we'll be able to uh, change that value so now 12 feet or fast display grid data as a spacing so from uh, a to b that means that point to that point i will be that value 12 feet and 7.67 inch enter then 8 feet enter then uh 30 13 feet and 7.8 on 13 feet sign and 7.8 on okay then click here so uh in that direction our provided data is okay because here only we have one two three four grid and uh, i'll consider that boundary line as a point okay so that we can reduce our grid system as much as possible now in that direction in that direction 11 feet and 5 inch so from uh, a to 
here one two uh two that value will be that value 11 feet and 5 inch here 11 feet and 5 inter then here Ten feet and zero point nine three inter then one feet and nine point zero seven inch one feet and nine point zero seven inter then four feet and six point nine three I'll take more line here grid five so now oh, four feet and six point 93 inter and here for that on 14 feet again i need to take another grid and here 14 feet 14 feet and 9.96 okay then enter it's done after that click okay reach the windows and you'll see it has been changed when it's done now i will uh, increase our history data so i'll go here this one will be our gf and that will be history one this one will be history two and this one will be history three so height of our history will be first of all a base to ground floor that is eight then uh ground floor to s3 one our base plane floor to s3 one that will be 10 then it will also 10 also 10 then i'll click refresh and click ok for that i'll add here quick history four five six seven eight okay eight and then i'll take nine and another ten so like it go here that one will be our a story roof just a story roof and that one will be trade as here done and here uh this height will be eight feet for terrace so uh how much history we have created from that point to that point one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten sorry i i need another story here also i'll click okay now I'll take another story story nine i'll go here for modify i'll uh, i'll change that history as a uh row row and here that will be terrace and that one will be a story nine then roof and terrace that's it so i'll take it as a story s t o r i yes s t o r i s t o r i dot roof refresh and then okay and refresh view and okay just see here we have completed our model perfectly i mean grid system now we'll start defining i mean we'll uh, now uh, start modeling so first of all i'll go here from plan view gf then apply now increase that size now take that on quick column draw and in our corner we know that will be c15 into 15 so here 15 and that should be one story here also 15 carefully place the column here also 15 right after that here 
here i mean uh and on every side on every side we have to define our column section okay and after that i'll change that column size 15 into 18 and here uh, i'll just see its direction this column are in the, that direction so that on that on that on and that one and that one are uh, in x direction i mean it's length or in x direction so uh, it's okay and from here or sorry for that on that on again here here and sorry uh we also uh i mean we have to define another grid here okay another grid we have to define another grid here uh, i just uh, skip that grid so okay no problem i'll provide a column here 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 and here okay that are uh, four columns uh, it's done and now i need a grid here so i'll close after that i'll right click error grid go here um, modify grid and in expression in expression i'll just go here uh, display grid uh, otherwise we can uh, change here okay so this is our grid a b and between c we need another line so from here simply i'll take its distance from that point to that point so what is that 17 feet 17 feet and 3.69 17 feet and 3.69 inch so i'll add e 17 feet and 3.69 enter stun then click here short done and click ok then refresh and then ok just see here a new grid are available again i'll go here from here i will define another column here and control z and another column i will provide another column here this is done now uh this is property middle everything is okay actually now when it's done when it's done now i'll provide on column here and that will be 15 into 12 and what is its direction so its direction are in that that direction okay in uh that direction so uh i'll just provide here angle with 90 degree and see here and here on and here another one. it's done i'll just go down now select all of that point from here i'll just be assigned joint and then restraint and then fixed apply okay so we have a uh, restraint all of our point here is a fixed again i'll select for over j assign joint restraint and it's fixed and apply done okay and close so when it's done i'll just go here and i'll copy all of that column i'll go here edit then replicate and i'll go for a story and for a story one then apply so it's done 
we have uh, assigned our all column here perfectly clear now uh, we have defined or we have uh, draw our column perfectly so in our next lecture i'll show you how to draw beam slab staircase perfectly so thank you thank you for staying with us